Hey guys, today I'm in Chandigarh at the JW Marriott. So, you know, coronavirus has taken over everybody's plans this summer. And I've been here for several months and we haven't been able to go anywhere and do anything. So I thought we would take a little adventure and check out the Marriott. So I have a deluxe executive uh, club room. So I'll show you some clips of it here. Because the coronavirus is still going on, there's still safety precautions in place right now. So we're all having to wear masks as long as we're inside the facility, of course, which is good practice. We have to keep distancing. Restaurants are just doing room service. So we're gonna go outside now and walk around a little bit and see how many people are here and what's going on today. So we came outside to find the smoking area. Uh, I am a smoker and it's a non-smoking hotel. So we came outside and they set us up a really nice corner because obviously you have to pull your mask down to be able to smoke. Um, so they just have two little chairs here, a table and an ashtray. So today is 105 degrees. I am pouring sweat. It's extremely humid out here, so forgive me for my appearance. Uh, but I just wanted to give you an outside look at what the hotel looks like here. We ordered some food and we got a um, a Western classic dish. So it came with fries, it is a club sandwich. So toasted white bread, bacon, tomato, mayonnaise, fried egg, and also turkey as well. It came with a side salad, ketchup and Tabasco sauce, and that was it. So we're gonna enjoy our meal. To be honest with you, I'm not really happy with my stay right now. There's a lot of stuff that's going on that um, I know that the coronavirus has made an impact on what accommodations they might have available and stuff. But there's been quite a few things where I've been charged quite a bit of money for extra things that were included in my room and so on. So we've been here for about five hours. I've taken a shower. Uh, chilled out we ordered our food and that food was pretty expensive so we saved half of it because we were gonna eat half of it later that was our lunch and then order something for dinner and we came back and a boy was leaving our room and he had taken all of our food out of the room so my salad that I hadn't even opened and both of our sandwiches and they were 800 rupees each so it's like 11 12 dollars something like that 
quite a bit of money just to throw away, you know? So, um, I'm sitting outside and I'm gonna go inside and talk to somebody in a minute because I feel like there's some type of miscommunication, maybe because they just reopened, they're not really sure of what they should do right now. So, anyway, I will come back and let you know how that worked out. Okay, you guys, so um, I ended up coming back inside and talking to the person at the front desk and they were really helpful. They went through my reservation and all of the issues that I had, they were able to accommodate me. So I'm feeling a lot better now about the stay. Um, Cause you know, I could have just got a deluxe room and not got any of the benefits. And I understand there's a virus. So like the executive lounge is closed, the swimming pool is closed and all that stuff. But there was just a little certain things that were supposed to be included and they were charging me. And because it's a nice hotel, the prices that were charging me were a lot. So, um, <clears throat> I feel a lot better now that I talked to them and I got everything figured out. And so I just ordered some mocktails and hors d'oeuvres. Those come with the executive suite. So when I get those, I will come back and I will show you. Okay, so our mocktails came in and we have pineapple base mocktail looking good and we also got the vegetarian dim sum wow they look good and they're in whole wheat dim sum and then they also gave us a green chutney and a red pepper sauce well you guys this is it so we finished the macchiatos no uh mocktails <laughs> sorry but the dim sum were not good. Um, they were Tibetan, and I don't know if that makes the difference and why they tasted that way, but the insides just weren't like you would expect a Momo to be, you know? So they did give us the chutneys and they were very good. So, great. So now it's about 10 o'clock and we just ordered our dinner, so um, dinner will be coming and we're gonna enjoy the showers and all the water pressure and when we get our dinner I'll come back and let you check that out too. Okay so dinner has gotten here and it looks really delicious so what we got was panini chicken alfredo so we both got that sorry for the odd shadow from the desk light here and this is a um, brownie with ice cream it was supposed to come with coffee ice cream but you know because of the virus i think everything's limited right now and this is called the chocolate desire this is like a chocolate cheesecake and i thought it was falling but they made it like that so then we also got some bread butter of course for the bread and then the most expensive sodas i've ever had in my entire life so pepsi and seven up so we're gonna enjoy our meal and i'll see you guys in a little while so we got done with our pasta he finished all of his we finished the bread and i'm gonna save half of mine for later so now we want to get into the dessert so okay i was checking because earlier i tried to open something and there was cellophane on the top so we're gonna try this brownie out wow i can tell that it's dense and chewy oh my camera's not focusing see how chewy it is it's like a molten brownie almost this would have been so good with some chocolate. I mean, coffee ice cream. Delicious. Okay, so now we're gonna try the cheesecake. It has a good consistency. So we had already eaten the other chocolate we had finished our meal so we weren't able to eat all of the cheesecake it wasn't cheesecake it was actually like some mousse cake or something like that they were both pretty good it's chocolate i love chocolate so of course i'm gonna say that so now we're probably gonna head back outside walk around a little bit because we just ate so we can digest and then we'll come back here and chill so we came outside and I wanted to show you guys the wall that's here. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can tell, I think you can, that it's glitter. So that it's shimmering and shining in the lights. They have pretty cool blue lights over here. 
So it looks pretty nice on the side of the building, but you can't see the shine. Okay, so we went outside, we had a little walk and everything, and we came back to our room. Now we're hanging out, chilling. Um, we're gonna enjoy this nice fluffy bed. I requested feather pillow. I requested feather pillows, and they did provide those for me. So uh, really comfortable bed, and I can't wait to get a good night's sleep on it. So I will get back with you guys in the morning. Um, as you know, because of the virus, everything is shut. So. We were supposed to have breakfast included, and that was a breakfast buffet at the cafe in the morning. However, since they don't want, you know, people close together and a buffet is not the best idea, uh, we're provided room service, and it is complimentary as breakfast is included with the night. So I will see you guys in the morning, and I will show you what we get. Good morning. So I slept really well last night. Um, the bed was super comfortable, awesome feather pillows, like I said. So um, we had a really good night. We've ordered breakfast. He said it'd be here in about 30 minutes. I ordered the French toast. They called me back. They don't have French toast and they don't have waffles. So they'll be sending a pancake. So when the food gets here, I will be back and show you what it looks like. Breakfast has been served. So we have our cornflakes, pineapple juice. This is part of the JW breakfast that I had ordered. Um, I ordered a pancake, but that's on the way. So they have the syrup here for it. Um, this is for his breakfast, uh, red chutney. Then we have butter. We also have a fresh fruit platter. Um, and then his achar, his masala tea, his paneer praka, his bread pakoda, and hash browns. And then I have scrambled eggs, hash browns, and it looks like a mozzarella toasted um, tomato. And I have bread also to go with that. And they gave me two types of jam. So this one is a strawberry reserve. I believe like both strawberry reserve, yep. So we're waiting for the pancake. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start eating. like our standard probably box mix pancake I don't know so we're eating everything tastes pretty good the eggs are delicious a little bit plain which is kind of strange but it was under English breakfast so I'll be back went ahead and I tried the pancakes they're absolutely disgusting I don't know if they're frozen or not but they are super thick super heavy no flavor except for just pure flour they have brought in the cold milk Okay, so we ate what we can eat. Uh, we have about 30 minutes left. So I'm gonna hop in and take a shower and enjoy. And uh, then we'll be checking out. So in the shower, we have the waterfall shower head and they have double um, shower heads here. You can twist them to how you want. And they also have the big bubble bath. And the bubble bath does come with a thing that you can spray with and there's a bench in there. But one of the cool features is the curtains. There's two, so one on either side. So you can take a bubble bath and watch TV, or if you want the privacy, then you can bring them all the way down. Okay, so we are home now, checked out. Um, talked to the people about how they accommodate me. I was really grateful for that. Um, I took a shower and only had like 30 minutes when I started the shower. So when I got out, I had to rush, I had to get dressed. We had to pack all of our stuff up. We made it down there in time. We actually have one minute to spare. So thank goodness for that. Um, so overall, it's a nice hotel. It's a good place. Uh, if you wanna take your family and meet them in the city or something, spend the night. I honestly don't 
think that I would ever visit there again. Um, I did visit in February, so I have visited twice to that particular hotel, but it's just, to me, I don't think it qualifies as a five star. There's a lot of things that I would change. I wasn't very happy. I mean, when you go somewhere on vacation and you're spending a bunch of money, you don't wanna feel like anger that you're paying this money and you're getting this quality of food, this quality of service. Um, it was very nice, it was very clean. Most of the food was very good, but the high prices for food that you get, and I mean, you know, you're paying 800, 700, I mean, upwards to over a thousand for a dish. You expect quality food. So for those reasons, I don't think I would visit again. I had a really nice time. I had, um, you know, I made some new memories, so it's all good. So if you decide that you want to stay at the JW Marriott in Chandigarh, uh, please tag me in any of your Instagram posts, Facebook posts, hashtag LittleFireYT. I will see it. Um, so I'd like to see your opinion and how your experience goes. So thanks you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.